What's up everybody? So today in this video I'm going to show you something really exciting and that is automating blog posts to WordPress and to Medium. So these are going to be two pretty simple straightforward examples but it's something that you don't see every day and it's actually not the most, it's not the easiest integration to set up in the first place. So if you're interested in that stick around for the video but if you haven't met me before my name is Ben Green, I'm the owner of Optimize IS and what we do so we help business owners probably just like you help you optimize your information system. So that's the stuff like Airtable for asset management, content management, a CRM, uh, Asana for project management, or Slacker for communications. So if you're interested in any services, you can check the link down in the description, request a consultation from me or someone on my team. But without further ado, we'll get right in the video now. So as you can see here, I am currently in Airtable and I'm gonna be showing you Airtable, Zapier, uh, Zapier and WordPress. So basically how this works is you need to manage the key components of your blog in an Airtable database. So when I think of that, I think of a few things. So I know there needs to be a title, there needs to be the content, and I would keep this to a long text field. And then if you want like a link, all my blog posts, which I actually just started a blog if you're new to the channel. Um, just started it in April of 2021 and there'll be a link in the description to see my blog uh, Which all of these posts are automated so far. So it's pretty cool uh, Besides the first one because that one required the setup uh, But you can see these posts in there So like there's a whole blog written about all of this and you can you can see it see it in that link down there so before I was trying to do tags and all this but the first thing that I wanted to do was just set up the automated blog posting which is the most important part to just get it out there and not not have any of that friction of uploading the content or anything it essentially can be input in, through a form uh, and I can review it I uh, mean my team my team will make it uh, about a video and then I can just come in here and click approve uh, most so far I've been writing uh, but you could have this simple approval system. So just filter it where that's approved. And if you wanted to have other checks in here, you could, but this approval system should work just fine. So after you build this out, you might have your long text for the title, your approved checkbox and your content, you're good to go. So that is really the key components of a blog post. Now, a few things to note here. So you'll need an Airtable account. You'll also, well, I use, Zapier and you'll need a Zapier account and I've said it multiple times multiple ways in this video but you'll need that and then you'll also need a WordPress account and the WordPress account needs to enable plugins which I believe is on the business plan so don't quote me on that but I'm pretty sure you need plugins because you need the Zapier plugin um, so to do the Zapier plugin you basically come over here to wherever it says plugins on the side somewhere um, so if I go to my home, then we'll be able to see plugins somewhere. Well, if I add the plugin down here, um, and I would also create a different user. So I'd create a Zapier user in there, and then you'll be able to see the, um, you'll be able to log in with that one instead of using your main user. But basically you'll just log into your business WordPress account to connect that. And then you'll also, if you want to connect it to Medium, you can connect it there as well. So now what you'll do is uh, you'll use this when a record enters a view in Airtable. That's the trigger you'll use and you'll basically set it up so it goes straight to what we saw earlier. So in the my YouTube and blog base, when the record enters the Zapier automation view, that's when it will trigger and it will pull in all the information from all of these fields. So now if I go back to Chrome, that's the first step, it's pretty simple. It's just like choose your account um, and choose that stuff. So Zapier Automation View, Table, Article Submission, that's important, I guess. Uh, and then you can test it. So you can test that, make sure you got that in there. Now what you'll do is you'll go and use the Create Post and WordPress Action. So you'll need to log in and then choose WordPress, Create Post, and then this is where you'll connect your WordPress account and then here, this is probably the most important part. So post type, it's posts. I know you, some people might, maybe you wanna do one of these other post types. I'm just showing you how to do just a general post. 
So that comes with the title, the content, and I didn't do an excerpt, I didn't do a password. Uh, the author is me uh, so far. If other people would like to join on the blog, they can. Um, just email me. Uh, but as you can see, like comments are open. You can, you can change all of this stuff. And then I also enabled these tags to be able to come in. Uh, so once you do that, you can see how the status, status is published. And you could also schedule it. So if you wanted to schedule, like, post the published date or, like, have it published at this day, uh, you can do that as well. And then you can test the action. So I've already done this. As you can see, a post was sent to WordPress about a week ago. Um, so this can be done very easily. Uh, when I was testing this out, I just deleted the first one on the test because it, was, it said, like, test, 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 test. Um, but as you can see, like these ones are getting automated in here based on whichever video they're about. And yeah, so I came in here afterwards and did the tags because obviously you see there's a lot more tags than uh, the five that I had put in there initially. But you can see that this worked really well. Um, I got all the information in here that I wanted, even the video, and then it automatically posted. So this is kind of my game plan going forward to post the blogs because I don't want to have to log into another software. Uh, as a business owner, I don't want to have to go log into WordPress and I might have somebody in here do these tags and do all this other stuff. Um, then we can also see if we go to medium.com, then we can see these were automated in here as well. So if I come down to somewhere over here, stories uh, published I did automate this one in here so as you can see this is all in here in medium as well and one important note for the medium uh, is after you do the WordPress ones you'll create your account um, you'll come down here create your story in medium and I'm, for, I'm not an SEO expert I don't claim to be whatsoever but what you'll want to do is use a whatever this says Canon Nicole URL and that's like to say it was originally posted in WordPress because I wanted to help the SEO of my website again not a SEO expert but uh, yeah so that's that's the generics of automating blog posts to WordPress medium and then in the future I'm going to add like posting either the medium or the WordPress probably the WordPress on my like Facebook page, on my LinkedIn page, uh, maybe on Twitter, and those kind of places. That way if people are interested, they see it, they can go in there and have a quick read instead of watching the video. So maybe pretty soon you'll probably see this video as a blog. Now I have over a hundred videos already published, so it might take me a little while to get all of those written, but someday this will also be blog post and I wish I could test it with this one but time just doesn't let me go backwards so that's the basics of this if you're curious on how I set up I would say the hardest thing is the WordPress uh, again just come in here to the plugins make sure you're on business add the plugin set up another user account and then when you come in here to choose your account this is probably the hardest part as you can see I failed a few times uh, but you'll connect a new account and it opens up like this. And so you'll need to put in your URL. Make sure you don't use the WP admin one. Just use like your URL. And then come in here to your WordPress. And uh, let me bring myself over. Come down here to users and add a new user. And then use that login for it. So I, th I think that's actually all that I have to show uh, on automating these blog posts. If you have any questions, throw them down in the comments. And if you want something similar to this set up for you and your business, I'd love it if you requested a consultation from me or someone on my team. But if you are curious maybe about, and if we go back to Airtable, the automated approval process, how that all works, I go into that process in depth in this video right here in the end screen. So I go step by step through creating an automated approval process and this will really just take your workflows to the next level, to the extreme, and allow you to optimize and automate much more of your workflow. So I hope 
you go click that video right there in the end screen because it'll you know, learn a lot from it uh, on creating this automation workflow. But without further ado, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.